guys, Anime Night here. Um, so I guess we finally found out what happened, and it was very obvious from the get go. Kotaku's Alyssa Mercante gloats, more like brags, after being accused of intentionally misrepresenting Farm Folk CEO comments about gamers. See, this is why you don't use Kotaku Journal, you don't talk to these people when you're a CEO of a gaming company or a dev or anybody because these people here will distort everything. Kotaku's senior editor, more like activist, gloated after being accused by Crytiv CEO Alex uh, Kushkeklov, I'm so sorry, I really tried with that name, of intentionally misrepresenting his comments about gamers. So you're probably wondering, what ha where is this all started? This is where it started. The whole controversy started when, I'm just gonna say Kushkov, so I'm just gonna say Kushkov, if that's okay. Farm folks, Farm folks game asked its community about female breast jiggle physics. The game posted, All right, folks, it's time for some serious game development talk. We're tinkering with character physics, farm folks. Burn a question. Which version has the perfect breast jiggle physics? It then provided three options, 50, 90, or 30%. In a subsequent post, the account asked, does anyone want to see what 150% looks like? Most likely, this was, this was written as a joke, in so to speak, but this was a badly timed joke. Given the climate between Stellar Blade, the Tomb Raider controversy, and everything else, this was a really bad time. Under any other circumstances, it would have been fine. But no, the fake-ass people at Black Girl Gamers bitched about it. They can't tell the difference between a joke and something serious. So, so they go, so far folks deleted the original post and issued an apology However, everybody took the apology as bending the knee or vice versa. Here is where it gets really interesting. Koshkov did an interview with Alyssa Macrante, where which she alleges was an hour long. In that interview, Koshkov appeared to decry gamers saying you have to be a very poor person to kind of sexualize this like the internet is full of sex right now. There's some crazy things that you can find if you're having problems with our characters like for like look for help, he continued. Maybe go on a date woman or something like that because this is our goal. We don't want to attract people that are attracted to only these body parts. Also, he also indicated he did not want certain nasty people. I don't know what he meant by that. Uh, we don't want to attract nasty people. We don't want those. We have some limits. Why Why not implement a physics slider? That that would solve everything. G give us the option here. I, I just don't get it. And not only did he decry gamers, but it appeared that he was specifically disparaging former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Cern, aka Gooms. Or Kante Kwale Koshkov, fuck that. That. I don't care what he thinks. I'm apologizing for structuring it badly. If we were to rewind the times, we would skip that. We don't want to be a part of the culture war. We don't want CERN to give us any recommendations. We prefer to evaluate it from what we consider human character. So, getting to the meat of everything, ex uh, Twitter user um, Hat Glasses would share excerpts from Mercante's article to the social media platform writing, Farm Folks Low Info CEO implies that gamers who won't cave to, to the censorship mob, cancel pigs, and corrupt journals are incels. Mercante played him and now is dragging him for the sucker he is on her handle. Koshkov responded to the post writing, Hi, this is not why I implied and it's misrepresented here. I meant that if you're against natural breast movement, this statement applies to you. We don't want exaggerations and at the same time, we would love to have natural elegant motion in our characters' bodies. That's completely fine. If this was his intention to begin with, if this was the intention of that, then that's completely fine. Everybody likes natural breast movement. It's it's science. Koshkov would elaborate in another response to users' official Atreus, shout out to Atreus, he stated, My comment was actually directed towards the people who have issues with natural body motion in our games not towards the people who appreciate it. I think it was intentionally misrepresented. And yes, it was. And what let's keep let's bear in mind, not everybody is good at English. Let's get that out in the open. So he, it's because of this he has limited English vocabulary. 
which is fine. And then, here comes Mercante, got wind of Koshkov's comments and posted to Twitter. I said this to him during our interview, but the farm folks CEO attempts to not be political are very naive in the current climate. His replies are very telling. You got pulled into a culture war because you don't have a CM who knew that titty physics wasn't the move. Chief, then you apologized, then the titty physics gooners got mad that you apologized, and then I interviewed him. Them's the breaks. What the fuck is... What the fuck? Wow. And then Koshkov finally had enough and took to issues with Marcante and published a conversation the two had in DMs. In response to this inquiry, Koshkov stated, I strongly believe that this sentence was taken out of context to support a specific narrative and goal. I believe it's part of a larger context where you and I agree that having the breast physics in the game is acceptable. The quote that you shared was my response to people that are offended by the breast movement in the game. I'm clarifying what I meant since it seems that it was taken out of bigger context and I probably didn't choose the best words to express it. I didn't intend to hurt anyone or call names, but it's being interpreted this way now. The next CM shows were content ask if Koshkov will, will retract his comments as she continued to claim that she's being harassed. It also shows Koshkov noting that Makante cut out a portion of their conversation to frame it in a certain way. Another set of DMs shows Koshkov asking for Makante to provide an update with his clarification on Twitter. She refuses to do it and says, I'm not a service. You don't, you do not get to dictate to me how I represent you. Goodbye. See, this is why. This is why, this is why I hate Alyssa McConte so much, why she's a joke to everything. And she goes further. Look at this. Look at the, look at this. McConte responded to this post and these DM writings, writing, Hi Alex, I'm not a PR person. You spoke to me for over an hour. The entire copy of our conversation was never going to be published in a piece. I maintain that your attempts to remain neutral are naive, as I told you, and I wish you luck. She also shared a portion of the transcript. Due text posted to a screenshot of Koshkov knowing his experience with the internet recently and Involving poor reading comprehension and lack of common sense. She also wrote L M M A O. Basically, Alyssa Mercante does not fucking care that about Alex's feelings, and she, and he is right to call her out and everything. I wish more people did this because these people do not care. They just want to distort everything to fit a narrative in their bullshit war against us, against us gamers. And believe me, I have a lot of things to say to Alyssa Mercante, and I already did, but I will go further in saying that she's an activist, a full-blown fake-ass poser who think who poses as a gamer and as an editor and as a journalist she is neither of these this fucking bitch really needs to be shoved out of the community once and for all she should not be interviewing anybody of CEO standards or anything. I do not know why these people go to Kotaku when it, when this proves of their track record of distorting so many words and everything, and Kotaku is a big joke, and people like Alyssa McConte are proof of that. We owe Alex an apology, because it's not really his fault. It was badly worded, it was a bad joke, and it was handled in a, in a bad light. And he only, and the apology was for the bad writing of it, and that they told a bad joke. That was roughly it. Now, I will agree that we should not bend to, bend to the cancel pigs, or anything like that. I will agree with that, and I give Alex credit. He's trying to stay neutral in this whole thing, but it's impossible to do so when you, when people like Alyssa Mercante just go and distort it in broad daylight and doesn't get called out about it until now. We need more people like Alex to call these people out. Anyway guys, what do you think about all this? I'm Anime Night Nights 92. I love you all. I'll catch you all later. Bye.